And then Hammer came like, what's going on? What's going on? Who, what, what's up? What's up? He said, we have a message from uh, the glove one. He said, once you been, he said, glove one who? Who you talking about? Glove one, Mike? He said, yes, sir. He said, D-Mike. <laughs> yes, sir, Michael Jackson. Tell your mic to come up here and tell me yourself then if you want me to be quiet. He said, Mike, he said, he said, where he at? He said, he's right below you, sir. He said, Michael Jackson. He was so stomping the floor. Get what's up, Mike, baby? Come tell me what you got. Acting crazy, jumping up and down. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you what. Since Mike want me to stop, tell Mike, come tell me himself. I don't believe you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You told a story about meeting hey Michael Jackson hey the glove you see my hand actually in my life I saw Michael Jackson twice wow we're gonna talk about the first one I'm gonna tell you about the second okay uh, let's talk about you meeting Michael Jackson at the hotel once again I told you all these events happened when we was in doing the two legit to quit scenario um, we was up on the, on the, in Hammer's room on the floor going on rehearsal for the video shoot Too Legit to Quit you know and this is in Hollywood in Hollywood at the Universal Sheridan unbeknownst to us Michael had rented the floor be below us the whole f floor we was on top of him and uh, we was in the room rehearsing we was in the ballroom or whatever when the suites on the end that's where the suites at so they dancing bump you know dancing but you know, boy you bump you don't care if it's concrete or whatever you still gonna hear some sounds so Two dudes show up at the door. I'm sitting by the door because I'm sitting down watching, I mean, a bodyguard and a couple of people. Knock at the door. Open the door. These two dudes look like CIA agents. You know, black suits on with the thing mm -hmm. in their ear. Uh, excuse me. Uh, whose room is this? They're like, what, 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 who the hell is you? The police? They're like, nah, what, what you want to know for? This is Craig. His hammer's best friend. They're like, man, what the hell you want? He said, uh, we have a message for you. He said, uh, you're disturbing the glove one. He said, the who? The glove one? Yeah. He said, the glove one asked you to keep the noise down, please. He said, why is he telling us? Call the, call the damn uh, front desk or whatever. Tell them. Tell them to tell us. We, on, we got three floors in this hotel. And you, you didn't know who the glove one was at the time? Or did you know? And, uh, he, Craig didn't pay no attention to it. Okay. And the hammer came like, what's going on? What's going on? Who, what, what's up? What's up? He said, we have a message from uh, the glove one. He said, once you, he said, glove one who? Who you talking about? Glove one. Mike? He said, yes, sir. He said, D Mike. <laughs> yes, sir. Michael Jackson. Tell your Mike to come up here and tell me yourself then if you want me to be quiet. He said, Mike, he said, he said, where are you at? He said, he's right below you, sir. He said, Michael Jackson. He was stomping the floor. Get yeah, what's up, Mike, baby? Come tell me what you got. Acting crazy, jumping up and down. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you what. Since Mike want me to stop, tell Mike come tell me himself. I don't believe you. Holler back at you. Have him slam the door in the face. Boom. About 20 minutes later. Do, 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 do. And uh, Craig on the door. Oh shit, they back. Burrell. Like, yeah. He said, back, man. He said, what's up? He said, the glove one wants to meet you. He said, what? Two of them big old jokers moved out the way, man. Mike was standing back in the back with a hoodie on his head. With a uh like a cape thing on or whatever, like a, a mystery man. Uh-huh. And um, he raised his head up. I could see his chin. So I knew like, that nigga is white. Is <laughs> he said, um, he said, can you step outside, Hammer, talk to you? He said, what the hell? He said, pull it down and let him see him. He revealed himself. Everybody was like, oh, nigga, that's Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's the first time in my life I've been starstruck. Out of all the artists I met, all the entertainers in the world, from Denzel to you name any, Mike Tyson, and all of that, I had never been, I never felt like that about another person. I said, that's the ultimate right there. Mm. That's Michael for real. That's that. You know, Everybody trying to see. Short. Michael Short, too. He went as tall as people thought he was. Same thing with Prince when he met Prince. How Prince, short is he? Who? Mike. And he's like 5'9"? Mm, not really. You short enough? Prince 4'11". Well, it was. Uh -huh. Prince was wearing them heels to make him look tall all the time. So, <clears> so <throat> Mike, Mike's sitting there. He's talking to him. He's talking to him. He told us to go back in and close the door. Because we was getting, we was, we was really. Getting we went, rowdy. Couldn't take no pictures or nothing. We just all in the door looking like groupies. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He said, Hammer. He said, uh, he said, what, what are you doing? He said, I'm up at rehearsing for my thing. He said, Mike, what's going on with you, man? He said, nothing much. 
He said, I just come to, come to meet you first, finally, for the first time. He said, um, he said, um, what's going on? He said, uh, I'm going to tell you right now. What you in the video too little to quit. He said, I'm going to tell you, James mad at you. He said, James who? He said, James Brown. He said, uh, what, is, what is he mad at me for? He said, because you, you disrespected him. He said, what? What did I do? He said, you, you acknowledge you went on some show talking about Nipsey Russell and, and Sammy Davis Jr. and all them, and you didn't say his name because your influence is, is coming up or whatever. You know, you dance just like James. Oh, no, him. I love James. Oh, my God, no. He, he's mad at me. Oh, no, I got to make that right or whatever. He said, okay, you got to make it right, but right now he's mad at you. Do you have a number? Can I call him? you have a number on him? I got I to gotta call him and tell him I'm sorry. He's like, it's okay. It's okay. He says, it's going to be right. I'll let him know. i let him know what's up. He said, what you doing tomorrow, Mike? He said, uh, I'm doing some business, but uh, what are you doing? He said, I'm having a, a video shoot tomorrow. Too little to quit. Come through, man. Come show your face. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a cameo. You know I'm going to give you a cameo. He said, <laughs> he said if I'm, I'm not busy, I'll stop through. I came. Mike came. He's still back in the corner. He didn't Mike get the name to the too legit to quit. Sitting there with his arm like video. Watching. But he and didn't he, do no cameo, though. No, no. He didn't, do no, he didn't get on camera. He didn't do no camera. He was over there. Mike, we were doing a different move. Mike was over there like. Oh, you see, like Mike, like, Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike wanted to get something. Yeah, he was like, ooh, like, like yeah. And then he had to talk to him. He's like, I love this. This is amazing. All these dancers. He's like, like a big old kid. I'm like, man, look at this. Mike shit, shows up to the Too Legit to Quit video. Yes, shoot. sir. He was there. He was there on my How life. How long was Mike there? Maybe about 20 minutes. He came and Will Smith came too. Will Smith came over too. Will Smith oh, really? was there too. He came too. Yep. I see your hall. Several people, man. Mm. Yeah. Damn, I had it going on, man. man. Y'all had it going on, man. Man, man. I was like, man. When, when you did you, um, are, you are you still under Michael? No, did, no, no. When did you get to meet Denzel? Because you mentioned Denzel, but yeah. I don't. <laughs> Boy, that's it. I didn't think no more about that nigga. Um, mm -hmm. We was um at some function or whatever, and Denzel was there. It was some, some award show or something. And we was talking or whatever. And he just told him, he said, man, I like the work you're doing. You're doing real good, brother. He said, uh, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot, a lot of black people don't understand is that the pinnacle of television and is, is film. Once you get on, on a movie, t a TV screen, that's the pinnacle of all things you can do mm -hmm. in Hollywood. You get no higher than that. And uh, just keep that in mind. He said, and I know you're gonna be doing movies soon, brother, and all that kind of stuff, but hey, keep on dancing, Hammer. I like you, brother, you all right. I'm like, okay, cool. Wow. Did Hammer do any movies? Did Hammer, yeah. no, um, I think he did one. Yeah, yeah, but he was more that, that man. That, the the dance phase yeah, of Hammer. Yeah, yeah we had the a cartoon. Run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had a cartoon. You remember the Hammer Time cartoons? Come on, I yeah, I remember it. I remember it. I, I remember it. The Hammer Doll. I don't remember all of that, man. All I remember yeah. is him dancing and the songs. That's all I'm I remember. I'm telling you, when I know we we really in it. When they said, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna go there, man. Go to Hollywood, man. We're gonna do the Adams Family. I'm gonna do the whole soundtrack and everything." They talk like I told her to talk, walking like water, walk, walk with them with them, walk with them. The Adam family, hey. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> we down there, man, for about two weeks on the set. You know? I'm like, damn, I want to be in the movie, him. <laughs> like, Sit your ass down. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.